Kenya will enter into a new world of modern transport when the country's president officially opens the new standard gauge railway to the public at the end of this month. We want to take you back to the old railway and compare it with the new shiny one. Let's start from the beginning. The old meter gauge railway was constructed in the 1800s and took over five years to be completed. The new train has taken two and a half years to finish. The British Empire used approximately 5 million US dollars to construct Kenya's first railway line. The Chinese, on the other hand, financed three quarters of the mega modern railway using approximately 3.8 billion US dollars so far. Although the old trains could drive at a maximum speed of 70 kilometers per hour, it went slower than that. However, the new train is blazing at a speed of 120 kilometers per hour. Kenyan passengers used to pass over through a journey of more than 10 hours between Mombasa and Nairobi, but now it's a relief that the new train will cut travel to just four hours. The old train could only make a one-way trip per day with at least 960 people on board. More people can now travel in the new train since it will carry 2,400 passengers with a return trip daily. Kenya's economy is expected to boom as the new freight train will carry 22 million tons annually, four times more than the past capacity of 4.8 tons. There will also be more jobs for the locals as the new train will employ up to 60,000 employees, way over the 32,000 employees that currently run the railway. Kenya's ambitious railway project is expected to spill over to Uganda, Rwanda and South Sudan, making transport easier and more efficient in the region.